Welcome folks, today we're gonna talk about Aline. Now let's go to the units and uh, see what she can do. Now Aline is a Dragoon. Yes, I leveled her up. And that's a problem. That's a problem. These old jobs, pretty much, now the, that, now the volume is too much. Let me lower the volume. There you go. The problem with Dragoons and these old jobs is that they do not follow the meta. And this is especially a problem for Dragoons and lancers because any spear user that relies on old jobs is gonna have one big issue and that is the reason why you will see my rating at the end of the video she also has an assassin and a dual gunner sub job these are interesting um, combos you can use them uh, there are some nice nice uh, combos here heavenly blade for instance is very good there is also uh, the, gun, the heavy double gunner uh, sub job that has interesting uh, options here if you have like a team of missile units or just you want to do a, a different types, type of damage. Um, other than that we've got Dispelling Jump which is from the EX job because it removes all buffs upon critical hit. Which could be an interesting, uh, interesting proposition to bring to the table. Our signature move is Dragon, Di Dragon Dive not to be confused with Dragoon Dive, somehow. Which is nothing crazy, it's just medium damage. Horizontal Jump is being enhanced. Now you have Lock On, damage, large damage, to target after jump and removes all buffs. Wait. Oh, that, <laughs> that that's... Alright, that's, okay, that's the same, stupid me. Got this one. This is by far a very good enhancement. Because it takes HP up to Kinlan's Mastery, raises max HP, critical hit rate, very good, and the vision rate, which is meh. Skip Trust, deals medium damage to targets within area around self after moving. This is like a cross, um, cross lens or something for, for Glaciella. It, it acts the same. You teleport to the square, you deal damage like that in a cross. Now, the biggest problem the Dragoon has is. There are no good lances unless you are ice or earth. So what we have is tune up. Tune up is a good move that actually raises agility and raises the fierce piercing rate. Now this is top tier because these are the two things that a character needs to deal damage nowadays. The problem is of course the meta shifted from defense to um, resistances. So we're facing another problem. Now, contemporary PvE, and I'm talking about PvE, I'm not talking about PvP. Contemporary PvE, everybody knows that if you want to do go PvP, you just need the latest limited unit. Um, contemporary PvE, instead of focusing on defense and spirit, which they have, they have like around 50-ish, depending on whether it's magical or physical, they have 50 spirit or 50 defense. They focus about resistances and every even mages have like from 10 to 20 resistances to everything except maybe one or two elements which is downright stupid in my opinion from a game design point of view but that's Gumi and they are free to do whatever they want to promote their characters. We also have Missile Mastery if you want to switch to a heavy gunner, a double gunner sub job. Uh, I don't know why you would want this one. and. Okay, jump, Kinla's um, Mastery and Evasion Up. I don't know, maybe you can run an Evasion build on this one. I don't know. I don't think so, but whatever. Now, um, as reaction abilities, we have Predictive Fire, Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow is the same as Venera because it's the assassin uh, uh, job. Chance of raising our own evasion for three turns when taking damage and I need to sneeze. Holy shit, always when I'm recording videos. Now, this is interesting, but I prefer Drago Dragon's Blade because it's a mean to heal up. Now, um, sub job gives you only Dragon's Roar and Dragon's Standard. You can change this, I don't know, to do a gunner or assassin. It's really, it's really up to you what you want to do with this one. So, whatever. For a bit, I, do I have everything? Yeah, okay. Now, she has some agility, 
Did I clear that? Yes. So she has 69 agility, which is a perfect number, especially for a waifu. Uh, it's more than Sosha, because obviously she's a mega rare unit. And that's about it. Now, the Trustmaster is very interesting, because the Trustmaster is... This Trustmaster alone is very interesting for any Lancer or Dragoon that doesn't have the earth or ice element or if you were not able to farm the Stoss Spear or the Cruel Arrogance. Those are limited spears so I guess not everybody has them. Uh, let's go and talk about the Espers. Uh, let's go about formation because I forgot about the Espers. I think she has... Yeah, I think she has something. By the way, I went ahead and redone uh, Sosha. And yeah, she still, uh, she still has a problem. Same problem as uh, every Lancer unit. It doesn't change much. See, I gave her... I gave her the belts! She's got decent agility now. It's 80, it's still low. It, she doesn't deal any damage. You wanna know why? Because there is no resistance penetration here. And that's the problem. You wanna know why, else, why Cyrell does double damage? Because she has a weapon that do, do, does do 20 points of slash attack resistant piercing. Okay, that's why Cyrell is a beast. Because the weapon she uses, okay, the weapon she uses counters the meta. Actually, is the meta. Okay, that there is nothing else. Alright, so let's go back to lightning. Is this one? Nope. And it should be party 15, 14, 13. There you go. That's a nice party of lightning units. Alright. I did some shifting around with vision card so I could give a limb. She has the um, dragon armor, the spectacles and the naginata. Now, now, she has 91 agility, which is great. So, why do I not use other tools, other spears? Because the ancient Naginata, not only I can actually put Trustmaster stones in this thing, but she got the defense piercing rate up. This is worth putting the spear over here. Alright, so keep that in mind as we go. I, che I tried yesterday with both the bells and the wind spear or any other spear. It doesn't change much. She just moves a little bit faster, which is interesting. But nonetheless, nonetheless, the damage output is still not spectacular because of that. Let's go to the far plane. Let's pick, let's pick something different because I'm tired of doing the same um, stage. I'm really tired. Uh, let's try something else. I don't know. Let's go for this one. I don't know what's in there. I don't remember, honestly. So, um, let's embark. We also have... Uh, whatever. Nobody cares. We have a Leviathan, because I expect him for piercing attack. I should probably find a different Esper, but I, right now I cannot find one. I also have the um, uh, Glaciella Vision Car for piercing attack. And the Coil Vision Car for agility. Can I actually improve the sound now? There you go. Okay, Silma being the Giga Queen, she is, is gonna just drop some bombs. Or maybe not, maybe we should drop a... We should drop some... Um, so, so, wow, wow, okay. Purify is fine. Sure. Let's burn this down. She's ready for battle. She can do Dragoon Dive. She does 2.4. Why? Let's, let's analyze. First of all, it's Earth element, so it, it has a 10% um, resistance. And as I said, here is the problem for Dragoons. 30% attack type resistance. So, unless you find yourself in a situation where the enemy is weak to your spear, there is really no other way of dealing damage. Now, of course, we have different subjects, so we could, knowing this, we could go back and 
why vertical jump when you can do pillaging blade? No, no, you cannot. Poison Sting, 1.5. Mm. Mm. It does some damage, but... Oh, can we seize the APs? I don't think it works like I think it works. Whatever the case, I, look, listen, I don't care. Just go here and do Dragon Kin. So, what, what you said, basically. I think it was Maracuja. Yeah, but I need to do it on a limb. That's the problem. There you go. I think I may have cast the wrong button. Learte, why are you there? Why? Look, Learte is doing basically the same damage. But the difference here is that she has a 30% bonus advantage. So I'm gonna cast Revitalize on Liart and pull her back. What? Are you retreating? Are you running away from me? Really? Whoa! Whoa! Bro! 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 Let, let, me, t let me tell you. I got a physical shield. I'm gonna stay right here. Yes, these eyes are a problem, sadly. Oh, you tried Doom and you failed. Okay, we can try and get these guys. Skip Trust does 3.6k damage to these guys. It seems to be the best move we can cast. Okay, but we, before we do anything, let's get some more uh, AP under our belt. A back attack is basically a good attack. I'm gonna kill this dude. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Frey, uh, Frey, 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 you can... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go here. Can you do anything? No, why do you wanna cast Frey over there? Why? Wh why? Atomic Flare? Sure, go Atomic Flare, I don't care. Alright, 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 alright. Let's, let's attack the eye because I don't like Doom. So... There you go. Now, we're gonna showcase the damage, don't worry. Dragon's Blade, like I said, 2.5k damage healed. Nice. Uh, how about you give me some hate? Uh, where? Ooh, I'm gonna... Well, fine. I will taunt play this little ogre over there. Okay, now I have aggro. I can totally, totally... Ooh. I can totally do that. Just move. Uh, maybe move this way. Maybe. Jamming trust. Take care of this one. Thank you, Silma. I'm showcasing uh, Alim, by the way. Alim, you got some enemies and you got skip trust. Now we can we can totally kill the Sawagin. That's because the Sawagin has very very little health and is probably weak to lightning. And yeah, we can do many abilities against this dude. He's weak to ranged and to uh, slashing. We have slashing in our kit, 7k damage, and also we have skip trust here, which. It is a decent AoE, especially for moving, you can do a lot of... You have a lot of mobility with that move. I cannot, and fine. You know what? Uh, go. And she has Doom. Do we care? No. Why would I care? Barrage from uh, Learte is gonna take care of... See, Learte does one thing good and it's killing fishes. She fish with a bow and she does a lot of damage. I am not afraid of Sawagis, guys. Can you please kill this thing? Like, seriously. Why? Wait, what? You cannot do anything? <laughs> what? And uh, no, kill this thing. We we have established that seven k damage to uh, Sawagins now. Oh, but we've got this one. So she moves at a decent pace, and that's the problem. The character, the problems of the character is like I showed you. Yes, you shall not fail. Interesting. 
it's the uh, weapon she uses. This is a huge deal because in today's meta, unless you have those two um, weapons I just mentioned, you're probably gonna suffer. No, okay, let Aline take the kill. Aline, what can you do? Skip trust 12.5 thousand damage. That's a lot of damage. How is that? Oh, you have area attack resistance down and we're doing a right... Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, that's why we dropped the resistance down to minus 60%. Yes, we did it. Yay! I like how happy she is. Now, does she... Now, I, I feel like I have to showcase the difference between her and Sasha. So let's go back to the Embark screen and compare the same unit to Sasha as soon as the game decides. Because I changed the map, so if you watch that episode, let's go back here and see what Sasha can do. She also has the critical damage Tidus Necklace. I think the damage should be around the same, okay? It should be around the same. Not sure against water element unit, but she should be the same. Let's also, let's note that um, Alim has 90 agility uh, without the bells. With the bells, she's probably gonna go to 100, and Sasha has 20 less agility. Alright, Lupin Rand, I can do a lot of damage to this guy. Uh, let's buff no one, because I cannot. Okay, let's buff ourselves. Sure. It's time. It's time, I agree. Whatever you said. Atomic flare on this dude. Sure. Okay, you are in. Okay, damage. We can do body slam, and body slam is the best you can do. Really? We can do beast breaker. Or jump. Okay, let's just revitalize the people. Okay. Uh, revitalize. We have a couple of buffs we need to cast before we can do anything, so... Vigilance... Okay. In a while... In a while... Also, if you're giving bells to... Um, to your Dragoon, then what are you gonna give to your tank? Okay, Ma my Fredin, go. Just go. Just do your thing, you do you. And that's why uh, Sorrel is a beast. Look. This guy has 20... See, this is the meta, what I'm talking about. So... Having a Gigantax that bypass reductions is such a great thing to have. The problem with the key... And she's using the Elemental Spear, okay? So we can kill this thing with st with stone throw? Really? Are you giving me stone throw? Sure, I guess. Well, stone throw is good, I guess, for five points of AP. That's all right. That that's okay. Just go for it. They are doing the other things. Even then, you you can see that now, even with the bells. Even with the bells, Sasha is not doing that much because of of the low agility. Now I need to take aggro and you want me to cast breakdown? Sure, I guess. See, Sarel is moving two times, and Sasha, even with the bells, is having issues. Moving. That is why I did not recommend it, but let's see. I want to see the damage. Jesus. Alright, finally we can move Sasha. Now, Sasha, Sasha, buddy. He's weak, and she can do 5.2 with Beast Breaker because I gave her the water sub job. If we were to use Dragoon Dive, that would be 4.1k damage. Uh, vertical Jump 4.7. Jamming Drive 4.6. Sensing job, 4.6. So, maybe we can kill this thing with... Yes, with a critical hit. 
So, the damage is not on par with Alim, but it's similar, it's almost the same. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know what? Play auto. The issue is, these guys have very few HPs, and your characters should be able to one-shot these guys, okay? See, they should be able to one-shot the characters, and even with bells, Sasha struggles to move. That is the biggest problem. Now you could use Dragon Might to buffer CT recharge. The problem is, you don't have the turns to buff so much, because someone else will buff better. So, overall, you can see um, that um, the problem of the Dragoon is not much the damage itself or the moveset, is much based around the equipment he has. So, like I said, if we go to equipment and look at the spears, somewhere along this area we have a Stoss Spear plus 3, which I did not farm because I was stupid. And Pierce Attack Resistant Piercing Rate up 3. If you max this, if you get this to the, to the plus 5, you're gonna be killing things left and right. I do not have this thing, I cannot max it out to plus 5, so that's an issue. Also, it's, they gave me critical on this plus 3. So, without this spear, you cannot effectively use any Dragoon or Lancer into the meta, unless, of course, they're, they're Ice and Earth. Now, is Alim worth the resources to bring, not to 99, but to 120? And the answer is no. Unless you like her, her skill set, and the equipment at her disposal that you will most likely be looking for is... First of all, the skill set is not completely... It's better than Sosha, because she at least she has a support ability that gives her defense piercing rate, which is good, and the agility boost, which is also good, because agility recharges your CT time, your CT, so it takes less time to move again. And the... Um, the other issue is she's a Dragoon or a Spear user and without those limited edition Spears you won't be able to perform decently in the current meta. For PvE, not even counting PvP. Is she worth leveling to 99? Yes, for the Trustmaster. This thing is good unless you have those two aforementioned Spears. If you have the patience, you can wait until they rerun the event and you can farm them, but until then, this is the best spear you can get for free without having to wait for events, okay? The best spear for anything that is not ice and earth. So, my rating for this unit is a 99 out of 120. She is useful, she has some good sub-jobs and th the thing is she has very focused some sub-jobs. I've tried um, Sosha also with the other sub-jobs, the, the problem is still the same. You cannot penetrate the resistances and the defenses, so the problem still stands. Now also note that I don't know if the fans can go into the negative, probably they can go to the negative. Probably, who knows. Whatever the case, the biggest problem is not being able to pierce the resistances. So is this unit good? I don't know, I don't know. She doesn't look fantastic because of that. Anyway, that's everything I have to say. If you have something to say about the unit, please do so in a constructive manner, not trying to imply that I nerf characters. I've been playing this game for almost two years, I know what I'm doing, and the reason I'm not doing something is because of that other something. So when you theorycraft around the character, you need to consider the meta, the PvE that you're fighting in, the environment, and many other factors. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's everything I have to tell you to showcase Zalim, see you next time. Bye bye. By the way, you might see the next episode. I might use a different account, my um, other free to play account, where I have uh, like 90k visual around that. Because some units like Mormor, I have to 120 over there. And here she is 
somewhere. I have too many level 99. She's level 98. I lack the the uh, sword plus 5 to give her. But other than that, it is what it is. Okay, I'm running low on resources for experience, so I cannot showcase every character 220 on the same account. I'm a free to play scrub. Anyway, that's everything I have to show you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.